Hey guys, so today we're going to be starting a new series on a complete network build from start to finish using Ubiquiti's Unify product line. And the reason why I'm using the Ubiquiti Unify product line for this build is because it's a very gorgeous product selection and they make it very easy in a very intuitive way on how to manage every device. And not only that, it scales from home solutions all the way up to if you want to become your own wireless internet service provider. So the project that I'm going to be working on is a church remodel and they've asked me to help with their technology and configure a network and for every step that I do I'm going to record a video and post this throughout the process. Their network includes some pretty interesting needs we're going to have a bunch of different smart TVs, wireless access clients, audio equipment, but we're also going to separate some parts of the network, protect that from certain areas. We're going to have guest wireless access, so I'll show you how to configure that beautiful onboarding experience, and then also implementing basic content filtering to prevent people from getting to websites that, that they shouldn't be going to but also protecting people from any malicious attacks as well. Looking at the network topology, it seems to be pretty straightforward. We have our internet connection running down into a router, from the router into the switch. But the best thing is about this network is it's going to be very flexible and very automated. So for every access point that we plug in, we're going to set that up to automatically join our network and provision the settings as, as needed. We'll also be putting in a Unify video system on a Synology NAS device. Now that Synology is not by Ubiquiti, but we'll be using that to host another controller. And then we have the landline that needs to be sent over Google Voice. Rather than the church paying for its own $40, $50 a month landline subscription to run their fire suppression system, we're just going to plug it into this device, this OB High device, which will then use Google Voice for free. It doesn't stop there either. So we're going to configure a cloud hosted controller that will have all these devices bound to it. And that's where every single network setting will be stored. And because it's hosted in the cloud, I'll be able to manage all of this from my phone and you'll be able to see on how that works as well. So if you're interested in following along, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you know when the videos are going to be released. I'm also going to be available on Twitter at JD Rogers, or you can hit us up at server side up as well. If you have any questions or have any kind of feedback on anything, just be sure to leave a comment down below. Looking forward to seeing you around. Thanks.